Hello, you're back. All right, today we're going to cover the figure eight, right? Just the regular figure eight and the reverse figure eight. We're not going into the Maya or the vertical here right now. That's going to be another video. Okay, so we're just going to keep it to the basic figure eight with your hips. Okay, so how do we make this work, right? So it works like this. You need your belly dance posture. If you haven't checked it out yet, please have a look at the video to keep yourself safe and your lower back protected. And just in general to practice with a good posture. Okay, so, which has a lot of benefits anyway. But we're gonna start on the figure eight. For the figure eight, we need the twist move, which I have a video on. You also need the slide, which I also have a video on. And essentially the circle, which there's also a video on, okay? So it's a combination of all of those. What we're going to start off with is you're gonna make sure that your knees are bent at all times. And we're gonna twist our hip so that your hip is now facing the front diagonal corner, right? From here, we're gonna slide over to that corner. So basically into your foot, all my weight is now on that foot, right? And then from there, we're gonna circle it behind to our um, heel. Now the other hip is now twisted to the front. From here, we're going to continue. Make sure that your knees are nice and soft for this. You're now sliding out to the corner, over to your toes, and you are now taking it back around your feet for the hip to be facing the back corner. And what do you know? The other side is now again facing that way. So you again slide out, go around, and then from here, we're going around, but we're smoothing it out so that it looks like this. The twist on this one is very important. Sometimes people tend to lose it after a while and then you end up with just something like this. So think about that twist that will really make it a figure eight. And I kind of visualize my hips drawing an eight around my feet. I'm going to go diagonal so that you can see it a little bit better. So we're essentially doing the same thing, bringing out the twist, we're sliding out with the front hip, we're taking it to the back, which brings the other hip forward, which we're then sliding out to the corner, which is now you, <laughs> and then we're bringing it back, and it continues just like that. What we're trying to avoid here is any tilting. Okay, so you want to keep it nice and static as a nice figure eight. The nice standard figure eight. Okay, I'm going to show you from the back as well. You're twisting out, you're sliding out, you're bringing it to the back, you're sliding out because you're already twisted. You're bringing it around and then you smooth it out. Make sure your knees are nice and bent. Try to avoid this. Keep it nice in one plane. Okay, all right. So we can do the same thing the other way around. <laughs> okay, so now instead of thinking you bring the um, twist forward and out. We take the same hip just so that you get the understanding because obviously you could start either way depending on how you look at it. Let's stick to the same uh, hip. Instead of bringing it forward you are now bringing it back which obviously brings the other side forward so you have to really get yourself thinking what hip do I want to start off with and what of the two moves do I want to do? Because I could now also start the regular figure eight with this hip here forward. But I want to do the reverse figure eight, so I'm bringing the hip back, okay? From here, I now slide backward into the corner. From there, 
I now bring it forward to my toes. Now this hip is back. I'm sliding that one back and bring it forward. Back and forward. This is the reverse figure eight, okay? And it may be misleading. Some people are struggling with that one because the regular figure eight draws backward and the reverse figure eight moves forward. However, it's the way you stand, okay? The regular figure eight, you move your hip forward. If I want to start the move on this hip, I bring this hip forward and then I draw it back. If I want to start on this side of the hip with the regular figure eight, I draw this hip forward and then I'm drawing it back, right? That's the regular figure eight. Now I want to do the reverse figure eight. I want to start on this hip. So I'm bringing it back first. Then I start the move by bringing it forward. If I want to start it on here, I'm bringing that one back and then move it forward, okay? So you can either think of it that way. So the reverse one draws the hip back first, or if the other way helps you to say that it is the opposite of what you think it is, the regular figure eight goes backward and the reverse figure eight does the opposite of what you think it does, it goes forward, okay? Choose which one works for you so that you remember. And um, we're just gonna drill it now with some music. I'm 